In this tutorial, we will see how to create helix and how to use it to create a spring. So helix command, you can give from here draw panel, select helix. So before that we will just switch to southeast isometric so that we can view the view, view the helix. We will make it UCS icon, no origin. Then we will say draw helix. Then he is asking for center point of base. So wherever you want it, you can click it. Then he is asking me uh, asking for specify base radius. So you can give the radius whatever you want. Suppose I want four. Then he is asking top radius. Suppose if you want to create a taper helix, you can give lesser uh, radius. Suppose I give it three. I want a ta uh, taper helix. Then give the height. How much height you want it? Suppose I want the height of 8. So in this way it has created a taper helix. Where bottom radius is 4 and top radius is 3. By double clicking this you can fine tune the helix. Just double click. So it will show the property panel. From here you can fine tune it. So constant you can define. You can define uh, turn, uh, turn height or turns or height what you want to constrain to suppose I want to constrain to height then he, uh, he is asking the height what is the height so height is 10 suppose then number of turns how many turns you want suppose I want turns to be 6 so turns have been increased then turn height individual turn height you can define which can be called as a pitch also so suppose turn height I will keep 1.5 then he is asking top uh, base radius and top radius. So we here we have uh, given less top radius because we want a taper spring. If you want cylindrical spring, then you have to give same radius at uh, base radius and top radius. So it will create a cylindrical spring. Then you can define the twist. So uh, you can say it either clockwise or uh, counterclockwise. So now it is uh, counterclockwise. So if I say clockwise it will be clockwise in this direction so in this way you can control uh, create a spring so to come out just press the escape to convert this spring into a, uh, convert this helix into a spring you, uh, you have to create a cross section suppose I want a circular spring so I will just draw a circle of desired radius then to convert this helix into a spring you have to use sweep command so go to sweep then he is asking for select object to sweep so I want to sweep this circle then press enter then select sweep path so I want to sweep on this path just click on the path so it will create a spring so you can view the spring in conceptual visual style so in this way using sweep command this spring has been created or if suppose you want a square uh, cross section as a square then you can create a square first here suppose uh, using rectangle command I will create a square square or rectangular cross section you can define suppose this is the cross section suppose I want uh, this is my cross section square cross section so again I will say sweep then select the cross section enter then click on the sweep path so it will create a spring of square cross section so in this way you can define the desired cross section for the spring and as per that the spring will be created same way you can also use this for creating the threads also suppose some cylindrical part is there I will just create a circular part suppose a circular part of 5 radius and I will press pull it to give the height suppose I uh, give the height of 25 and uh, I want to create a thread on it so I will just create a 
helix of radius 5 so just create a helix so I will create at the center of this rod bottom radius is 5 top radius is 5 then height I will define as suppose 15 so this helix is created there so you can fine tune the helix by double clicking on it just click on it ok to make the selection simple I will switch to 2D wireframe just click on the helix so from here you can fine tune it so I will define number of turns to be suppose 15 turn height is 5 suppose I want a pitch of 3 so I will say turn height of 3 then number of turns uh, then he is asked turn height 3 then base radius ok number of turns suppose I want it to be of 5 5 number of turns then turn height has become 1.5 so suppose I want a square thread so I will create a square of 0 0.75 by 0 0.75 so here I will say first point right click dimension 0 0.75 by 0 0.75 so this square is ready then I will just use the give the direction where you want the square then I will say sweep then I will select this rectangle enter then right click so I want to sweep using a base point suppose this point should be one base point should be used then I will click on the helix so this helix has been created here so we can view that in conceptual visual style so in this way it has been created so I want to create a thread so I will subtract it so for that I will say subtract then I will select the rod then enter then this sweep object enter so in this way you can create a square thread or desired thread so in this way you can use sweep for creating threads also so that's all thanks for joining we'll stop here